Disney's been making amazing animated films since 1937. 1937. I'm not going to pretend I've seen all 55 of these movies because that's simply not true. That would be a lie. Have I seen a large portion of them? Absolutely. And I'm here to rank them today starting at the bottom on Movie Fuse. Let's first start off by listing out the movies I haven't seen on this list, get them out of the equation right away. Now, if there's any that I mentioned that you think I should actually check out, please post it in the comments and I'll make sure to ignore that. Saladus Amigos and the Three Caballeros came out in 1942 and 1944. It appears they were a series of short films featuring Donald Duck, Goofy, and a few other household names. I had no idea these movies existed until I looked into the official Disney animated lineup. The same can be said for Make Mine Music, Fun and Fancy Free, Melody Time, and The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I've seen bits and pieces of Treasure Planet and that cult film The Black Cauldron, but I see no reason to revisit. Lastly on my list of have-nots are Brother Bear and 2011's Winnie the Pooh. I could list a couple reasons why I didn't see these two movies, but I think it's pretty obvious I just plum hate bears. That all out of the way, let's dive in a little deeper with my true last place spot on this list. I know a place, as Arguably the final nail in the coffin for traditional hand-drawn Disney flicks, it took them five years to come up with another movie, which was The Princess and the Frog. Home on the Range is a joyless, humorless adventure featuring three extremely annoying leads. Roseanne Barr, Judi Dench, and Jennifer Tilly. I'm not sure they could have found a worse trio. I almost feel like the House of Mouse self-sabotaged so they could further move into the full CGI realm. The script milks every cow pun it can think up and it's utterly ridiculous. I need to move on before I get too upset. I have another title for Chicken Little, but I'm not going to say it. I don't want to swear on this episode of Movie Feuds. It's family friendly. I don't want kids to go cry foul to their parents and leave me with egg on my face. The puns are enough. Let's stop with the puns. This was Disney's first attempt at a fully computer animated adventure and their first 3D one at that. Sure, they slapped their name on the front of Pixar's work, but this was their chance to make it on their own. Naturally, neither this nor Meet the Robinsons were even close to matching the greatness of Pixar's early library, so Disney just ended up stealing their talent for later releases. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, buy them. <laughs> If you're a fan of symphonies and great concert halls, you'll probably appreciate this a lot more than I did. The closest thing I get to a symphony is Symphony of Metallica, or Symphony of Destruction by Megadeth. Yeah, I'm very cultured. The concept is pretty sound, with the animation and music coming together to tell a series of short stories, and I believe the reviews were very positive for both Fantasia flicks. I found the music to be underwhelming, and the constant shift of animation techniques didn't work for me. It's also a bit telling when this movie doesn't have enough of its own material, it has to fall back on using a greatest hit from the first one. See the previous entry for my reasons. I'm already at the point where I don't hate any more of these movies. Dinosaur is a bit of a hot mess, that's for sure but it's not outright bad. The combination of real footage and CGI holds up remarkably well, but the character design choices are a bit odd. I understand Disney not wanting to use the same dinosaurs as The Land Before Time did, but they had no problem basically recreating the exact same plot for a far less satisfying adventure. I would still rather watch this over Pixar's entry, The Good Dinosaur, so there is that. Walt Disney Pictures presents Oliver and Company. Not a bad little film. Not something I necessarily need to go back and rewatch anytime soon, but a wee young Adam had uh, many nights with this film, and uh, he gave me aspirations and hope that we could one day live in a peaceful world where cats and dogs could coexist and commingle and become friends till the very end. Joey Lawrence voices our mischievous little cat Oliver as he joins up with a band of sketchy dogs on the mean streets of New York. The big draw is Dodger, voiced by Billy Joel, who learns that the Big Apple can be more than just a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Every good review should end with a pun and a misleading quote. Martin Luther King, 2013. See what I did right there? I caught this film many years after it hit theaters. I didn't expect much. I didn't get much. Lewis's whole tale seems like it's been told before in at least a handful of better Futurama episodes. The twist is very obvious. The other thing that really hurts this picture is the downright fugly animations. 
Creativity is, however, in abundance with the different futuristic gadgets and ideas. So props for that. Mm -mm. It's not enough, though. Not enough to bring this thing higher on the list. In 1977, two unlikely heroes set out to save a girl, Miss Bianca and Sir Bernard. He's not a sir, but it sounds classier. These two mice work for an organization underneath the United Nations building called the Rescue Aid Society. The comic relief comes from Orville, the dim-witted bird who carries our team on their way. This is a nice movie full of some pretty grand shots and colorful animation. Plus, it features the comedic stylings of Bob Newhart, and that's all right with me. Don't know why I winked. It was really bad. It never really occurred to me how obsessed Disney is with lovable furry animals until I started putting this list together. I was going to say they took a break from that recently, but then Zootopia hit theaters, so there goes that. Bonus points for having the title of your movie also being a pun. Aristocats. Instead of aristocrats. Yeah. Yeah. O'Malley and Duchess are a fun duo to watch, and we can't forget to mention Scat Cat, voiced by the Scat Man himself. It's another tale of an animal abduction, which Disney can't seem to ever shy away from. It's no 101 Dalmatians, but this is still one cool cat. Scat Cat. Sleeping Beauty came out in 1959, and it had quite a bit to offer. Nice visuals, dragon battling, a Maleficent queen, and some solid music. These old movies, of course, require magical fairies, and this doesn't shy away, boasting a total of three. Aurora is not typically talked about when comparing hottest Disney princesses, but I think that's insulting. She's a beauty, if you ask me. A sleeping beauty. Thank you. Good night, everyone. <laughs>
Colors of the Wind is my jam. Is this movie historically accurate? Eh. I was told when I was in high school that the Indians and settlers gathered around a great beast and shared stories and ideas before shaking hands and exchanging hugs. I was later told that turkey was not the only thing being carved. In fact, there might not have been a turkey at all. The animation is really great, and there's some very adult themes. There is, of course, the staple comic relief in the form of a raccoon and bird, but the focus stays pretty squarely on John Smith and the blossoming relationship with a beautiful native woman of the land. Is a blue corn moon like a harvest moon? Well, just pick up your phone, Tabby, and look. Actually, it's already in your hands because you don't do anything all day. Just swipe. Just swipe a new browser tab open and look. Have you ever heard the wolf cry? Well, we did it together. We made it through the first part of a three-part series, Best and Worst Disney Animated Films. I hope you join me on two and three. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, Few Nation, please do, and then you'll stay caught up with what's coming out. Also, feel free to leave a comment below if you think I was spot on or way off the mark so far. And remember, this is more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Look up Sycamore for that matter. I think it's a type of tree, but who, who really could be sure at this point?